Mobile phone companies say they offer home internet. But if their internet comes from a cell phone network, you should know. It's just phone internet, not home internet. Keep your home up to speed with Cox. Cox internet is faster and has more reliable download speeds than 5G home internet. Cox is the real home internet you're looking for. Based on Cox analysis of UCLA speed test intelligence data, Q3 2022 and Cox serviceable areas, visit cox.com slash internet for details. Welcome to Motivational Mondays. Just like the Crimecast Tuesdays, which actually is on a whole different podcast, I decided to do that because since it's technically a whole different category, I didn't want to mix it with, um, obviously with, um, with my original stuff, so go check out Crimecast Tuesdays, you know, podcast is with uh, Bria and I, and, you know, every Tuesdays we bring up a new case, there will be one dropping out tonight at 9pm Central Time or 8pm Mountain Time for my Mountain Time people, but today's motivational topic we're just going to talk about you know energy and how to increase your overall energy because sometimes you know a lot of shit goes on a lot of shit happens in your life that your energy just starts to dwindle whether that be at work a relationship your family just overall maybe just in yourself you know um if you're ever feeling tired, sluggish, or just plain exhausted, sometimes it's you know, sometimes it's time to make a change. Life is full of challenges and opportunities, and you need to be energized and alert to make them to make the most of them. You have the power to increase your overall energy, and I'm here to help you with that. First, let's just talk about why energy is so important because when you have high levels of energy you're able to tackle any task with enthusiasm and efficiency you feel more confident focused and productive which leads to greater success in all areas of your life on the other hand when you're low on energy even the simplest task can feel like monumental challenges which is true because i feel that sometimes when I wake up, you know, do my normal everyday routine, and, you know, I look at the clothing and the laundry basket, and like, oh, you know, I should probably, you know, take care of the laundry today, but I'm like, no, I I feel tired, I don't have the energy to do so, uh, I look at the dishes, and I'm like, I should do, I should do the dishes, no, I don't really feel like it, I it just, I seem super fucking lazy. I mean, super lazy. And I don't know why. And uh, sometimes I'm like, you know, let me vacuum. And I'm, you know, let me just fucking vacuum. Because I can feel some like breadcrumbs on the floor. Maybe some hair and some, uh, just some dirt and whatnot. But I'm like, nah. The closet, the vacuum closet is literally right there. And I'm just like, nah, I don't feel like it. Which sucks. Because obviously that leads to procrastination. Leads to me making more mistakes. Leads to me feeling more stressed. And more overwhelmed. That's why, because I know there's this thing called, uh, by Alex Formosi. Um, on Twitter, he said, you know, the only reason why you're stressed is because you're thinking of decisions or something like that that you haven't done yet or it's something around that nature where basically um what he what it what he kind of means in that is you you know you overwhelm yourself with just so much thought that you stress yourself out because you overwhelm yourself and you don't have the energy to the energy to do it and so by not having the energy to do it you stress yourself you procrastinate and then you know a lot of that stress can turn into anger because let's say you know let's say you're low on money and you know I know a lot of us have been low on money 
So let's just let's say you're fucking broke. And you're like, well, damn, like I'm, I don't want to be broke, but but they're not giving me any hours. Maybe I should ask for some more hours. But you don't ask for hours, and so now you're just feeling stressed. Of, oh, I don't have any money. I'm not making anything in this check, but I need hours. Fuck, um, I should ask for more hours, but you don't ask for more hours. And so by not doing it, you're now overwhelming yourself and making yourself more stressed. Or, again, like I said, going to the gym. You said, I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to go to the gym. Perfect. I've got to you know, gotta start with that. Then you wake up, not even early. Let's say you're going to tell yourself you're going to wake up at 6. And you wake up at 11. And you're like, man, it's 11. Should I even go to the gym anymore? Or sometimes you forget about the gym. Or you do and you and then once you don't wake up at the time you want, you already hate yourself. You're like, well, fuck. I, already hate, I hate myself now. I didn't go to the gym. Fuck, I'm stupid. Why did I do this? And then... Um, and so then here you are now procrastinating. You're stressed again because you told yourself you were going to do something. You didn't do it. And now you don't know what to do. And then now you feel like a failure. You're embarrassed of yourself. And disappointed in yourself. And I feel that. I do that sometimes. Not sometimes. A lot of times. You know, I wake up to go to the gym. I'm like, I'm going to wake myself up by 6-ish. 6, 6.30. Hopefully go to the gym by 7, 7.30. And then it's 9 o'clock and I'm like... It's already nine. I don't feel like going anymore because the time when I wanted to go, I didn't go do it. So now I don't really feel like going anymore. And is that good? No, but that's just something how I feel because I'm just low on energy. I wake up. Obviously, you know, you wake up, you want to be high on energy, but I wake up and I'm like, eh, eh. I don't, I don't have that energy, which is not good. But hopefully talking to you about this type of stuff will, you know, helping increase your energy, I hope, will help. You know, because here are just a couple of tips I wrote down. Just, you know, about, think about seven, what I thought of. So strap your boots on. So the first one is just get enough sleep. Literally get enough sleep. Obviously, this might seem obvious, but many people underestimate the importance of sleep. Your body needs to rest to recharge and repair itself. And lack of sleep can lead to a host of health problems, including obviously decreased energy levels. Obviously, obviously a lot of uh, the, not a lot, but... um. The number people always say is anywhere from seven to eight hours of sleep each night. And obviously try to establish a regular sleep schedule, which is true. I mean, some people may only need six hours and they've the most energized motherfuckers in the world. Obviously, it all depends on your own body. It all depends on the person and it all depends on your body, right? Yes, it does. Um, but... If you're struggling with that, if you real honestly don't know what to do because your sl- your sleep schedule is that fucked because oh you work at I don't know you work from 5 p.m. to 1 in the morning and then you get home and you are awake and you don't go to bed till 4 in the morning and or let's say you don't even go to bed till like fucking six in the morning, seven in the morning, and then you go to sleep, and you, and you wake up by. I don't know, you wake up by, two, two or three p.m. And you feel you know you feel alright. You're like ah, I feel awake, but you know you didn't eat, and here in a couple hours you already have to go to work. And 
or or just let's say you didn't have the greatest sleep. You slept at seven in the morning, but you woke up at eleven. It's tired and groggy, and you just don't feel right. You don't feel like going to work, and you're just tired still. Obviously, yes, you were off of work by like one in the morning, but you didn't go to bed till seven. Uh, and I feel I feel that some I've you know I have gone uh I've came back from work late and come back and I'm like I don't I'm not really tired and then I go to sleep and I wake up and I'm I sometimes oversleep and I'm like well fuck I wanted to wake up early to go to the gym but now I not that I can't but I'm like I I disappointed myself in that so always 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 get enough sleep second one is to exercise exercising is one of the best ways to boost your energy levels and your testosterone it increases blood flow and oxygen to your brain and body which helps you feel more alert and focused aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week which i can tell you guys is true i'll be honest it's true because there's days where i honestly don't feel like doing anything but I and I almost kind of forced myself to go to the gym like because physically mentally I don't want to be there but physically I force my body to go and sometimes it's the opposite like mentally I want to go but my body's a little bit tired and I'm like no I want to go and on the days where I feel tired don't really feel like going and I go and I'm just on the treadmill for 30 minutes well, like walking, jogging. I'm there and I'm like, wow, I feel better. I feel awake. I get out and I feel awake. I get back home. I feel awake. It's pretty cool in a way on how on how it all works. But, you know, try exercise. And that doesn't even mean you have to get yourself a gym membership. You can just go out for regular walks. You know, you wake up in the morning, put on your shoes, obviously some clothing, but put on your shoes, go walk around the block. Maybe walk around the block once starting for like your first week and then walk around, walk around that same block, but two times out, three times. Then maybe start picking up by jogging. And then instead of uh, the block, go to a second block, go to two blocks, three, four. Just start increasing. You don't even need to go to the gym. You don't need to buy yourself a gym membership. You can just go there. You can go hiking. You know, you can do a bunch of stuff and you'll realize it'll boost your it'll boost yourself. Number three, eat a healthy diet. Your body needs to fuel needs. God, I can't speak. Your body needs fuel to function properly, obviously. And the food you eat plays a big role in your energy levels. Focus on whole nutrient-dense foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein. Avoid sugary and processed foods, which can cause energy crashes. Which, again, is true. I mean, obviously, I need to eat meat more lean meat. I mean, you know. And because then my only problem with that is, you know, nowadays, food, especially meat, can get, excuse me, can get expensive. Like at Walmart, at my closest Walmart here in Lincoln, Nebraska, a pound of the, I think it's a 73.27, which is 73% lean, 27% fat. A pound is, I think, roughly a little over $4, I think. The leanest meat, which is, extra, they call it extra lean, which is 97% lean, 3% fat. Is close to six bucks a pound. And then the 8515 is, I believe, like roughly close to 550, I think. And so, you know, it's expensive. Let's say you get two rolls of ground beef of the 7327, two rolls for, let's say, about like a little over $8. Compared to you, you try getting the extra leanest meat there, which is, which would be probably two rolls for about 12 bucks. That's a whole $4 different. That is a whole nother 
7327 uh pound i mean sometimes healthy food is expensive which it's my only little gripe on when it comes to eating a healthy diet because $20 that you buy when it's obviously processed cheap foods you'll get so much food compared to you want something healthy you spend 20 bucks trying to eat healthy 20 bucks you're probably going to get 3 to 4 items most and that's me that could be only one meal you you know you decide to eat more processed foods 20 bucks you can probably get you know seven eight items but you're gonna eat more so but still try your best to eat a healthy diet number four obviously stay hydrated dehydration can make you feel tired and sluggish Make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day and limit your intake of caffeine and alcohol, which can dehydrate you. It's just true. I mean, <laughs> I like to drink coffee a lot, which contains caffeine. So, and it's a piss magnet for me. So, I mean, I need to f probably, I mean, because I try my best to just do one cup of coffee a day. I don't try to do... Like two energy drinks. Because like I said, it is a piss magnet for me. But bad. But it is a bad piss magnet for me. And so I, when I drink water, while I've already drank coffee, I'm just peeing like a fuck ton. I am peeing a lot. But I mean a lot. On to number five. Manage stress. Stress can drain your energy levels. So it's important to find ways to manage it. Practice relax relaxation techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or yoga. Make time for activities that you enjoy that help you unwind. Which I have been told a fuck ton about meditation. Meditation, meditation, meditation. And I'm not saying don't do it. If you know how to do it, perfect. But as beginners... It is very hard because while meditating, technically you're supposed to empty out your mind. Take deep breaths, close your eyes, and empty your mind and go in a quiet room. Just empty your thoughts, empty them all. And it's a little bit hard because, again, if you have bill, bills coming up that you have no money for and a bunch of other shit that is just piling on, it's really hard to not think about anything when meditating. That's my only problem when it comes to meditation is a lot. And obviously that's the thing with meditation. It's supposed to empty out your mind and beginners, you know, it takes months on months to really master truth, truly how to successfully meditate. And for people that don't know how to truly uh, meditate, you know, we struggle, aka like me. Maybe I just need to find a different technique on how to meditate. But to me, that's just how I struggle to meditate. Number six, connect with others. Humans are social creatures, and spending time with others can boost your mood and energy levels. Make an effort to connect with friends and family, or join a club or group that interests you. Which is true, however... Um, ow, my hand. However make sure the if you are low on energy level make sure the people that you are around with aren't sucking that energy away because that's what that can be like your most energy drainer find people that don't drain your energy like if you have an interest in let's say real estate find like minded people that or into uh, real estate or like into chess or whatever because if they have a lot of energy you, they'll bring they'll attach that energy to you and in turn you'll have a lot of energy and you can find a partner like your boyfriend girlfriend whatever no nope. if they're always low on energy and you're very motivated you have a lot of energy that can boost them you know if they see something that you're doing 
that can help motivate them to do something. Like if, let's say, you're washing the dishes. Let's say both of you don't feel like washing the dishes, but you decide, ah, you know what, I'll do it because I don't like seeing those dishes like that. And by doing that, uh, your partner realizes, you know what, because now you're doing the dishes, let me, let me vacuum or let me do the, let me uh, do the laundry or let me just clean up the bedroom. And now you're the energy that you have that you're putting on is passing it on to your partner. So now your partner is getting that boost of energy. Last but not least, seven, take breaks. It's important to take breaks throughout the day to recharge your batteries. Take a short walk, do some stretching, or simply sit and breathe deeply for a few minutes. And this one I always stressed on when taking breaks because I would always think it was bad to take breaks. I'd say, no, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. What's one of Newton's law? Um, and energy in motion stays in motion unless blocked by an unseen force or something like that. And so it's like, exactly, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. But by doing that, you drain yourself badly. Like that's where that procrastination occurs. The overwhelm occurs. Like you drain yourself badly to the point where you you start not wanting to do it. If let's say you're trying to get into I don't know um, on the track team. Let's say you're trying to get into the track team and so you are pushing yourself by running X amount of miles, by doing this, by doing that. But then when it comes to tryouts, you do horribly. And, you're, and then you wonder, well, why did I do so horrible if I've been practicing and practicing and practicing? But then you look back and you never gave, you never gave your body and mind to relax. Because you always kept pushing, trying to go forward, or you never took that little, just that little break. And say, hey, you know what? Let me let me relax. Let me let me just take a day off to, or just like, let me take a couple of days off, breathe, not not worry about job, not worry about anything. Let me just take some time to breathe, relax, and you'll realize how much of a benefit that is. Like that'll help you immensely. So make sure to take breaks. But remember. Increasing your overall energy is a process and it may take time to see results. But with constant effort, oh, constant, God. But with consistent effort and dedication, you can boost your energy levels and feel more alive and vibrant than ever before. So take the first step today and start building a healthier, more energetic life for yourself. Just know you got this. Don't think that you don't have it because you got it. Will it suck the first time, the first couple of probably weeks? Yes. Will Will it suck starting it? Yes. Don't stress again with energy. Don't stress yourself into starting it because now you're back into the same loop. You want to boost your energy, but you don't want to start. So now you're just draining yourself. Don't do that. Put on your shoes. And go out for a short walk. Again, like I said, around the block. Get up, do that. You'll come back and realize, damn. I honestly feel a little bit better. But. In next week's topic. We're going to be talking about. Why Cinderella's shoes fall off, falls off in the first place. If it fits perfectly in the end. I am Mark Martinez. 
mobile phone companies say they offer home internet. But if their internet comes from a cell phone network, you should know. It's just phone internet, not home internet. Keep your home up to speed with Cox. Cox Internet is faster and has more reliable download speeds than 5G home internet. Cox is the real home internet you're looking for. Based on Cox analysis of UCLA speed test intelligence data, Q3 2022 and Cox serviceable areas, visit cox.com internet for details.